So today we're gonna to talk to you about drapery and what you need to consider when you're adding drapery to your space. So first and foremost, we usually start with the drapery fabric. So you can do a pattern, you can do a solid, you can do a texture, there's endless amount of options when it comes to fabric. Then with the drapery panel, you need to consider what you're doing for your header detail. So again, a lot of different styles that can really help to tie that whole space together. Then we need to add the hardware. So this is your rod that goes across the top and that your drapery hangs on. We have finials, which are those decorative little pieces on the end of the rods, as well as brackets that mount to the wall. And lastly, you might need rings for your drapery, but that's gonna depend on the type of header style that you choose for your panels. Now, each window typically comes with two panels, one on each side. However, as you can see in this room, we have three panels because what we've done is we've covered the wall in the middle to make it look like you have one long continuous window in this space. So in this home, we decided to put sheer uh, drapery in the great room. Now, shears are just another alternative fabric that we offer at Design Q Shop. It's a very thin fabric, just like the name, they are sheer. So they're typically done more for an aesthetic than a privacy panel. Because as you can see, if you were to close it, you can still see outside and the outside would be able to see in. So normally we do pair these with a blind behind it so that you do get that privacy. Um, the shears come in a lot of different colors and some of them even have some texture to them it's just a very lightweight option and kind of gives you that open um, feel without any heavy weighing fabrics in the space they are really good for homes such as this one that have ceilings that go two stories high uh, so you don't have really bulky fabrics hanging on the walls Another thing to consider when you're putting together your drapery panels is if you want to add in another color to your panel. So we call this a split panel and essentially what it is is it's just adding another color blocking to either the bottom or the top sometimes even in the center really you can kind of customize it to whatever you want the benefit to doing this is it allows you to split up the panel so it does tend to make the ceiling look a little bit higher it just kind of gives you that visual element and it also allows you to maybe add in some color choices um, if you wanted to coordinate a color that's also in the room or just add a little bit of a different texture this is a great way to do that So if you have a window in your home, similar to the one behind me, where it's above a countertop or even behind a bathtub, and you don't wanna hang a drapery panel off the side of it, a solution to that is to add a valence or a mock Roman like we have here. The valences look very similar. They're just a little bit more of a built out box, whereas a mock Roman actually has these tough tucked layers here, and you can coordinate it in the same fabric that you've used for the rest of your home. So another way that you can mount your uh, drapery is actually using a ceiling mount bracket. So like you see behind me here, we've used a couple ceiling mount brackets and mounted the rod directly to the ceiling. What this does is it creates a lot of height in the space. So you will need a little bit of a longer drapery panel, but it really takes your eye up and makes the space look a lot bigger. 